Hey Scorpio, welcome to Germinate Tarot. We're just going to round out April with a weekly before Jeremy and I get back in business. So we're going to do some Gypsy Witch, five card, see what happens. Technically six card, but who's counting? All right. What do we have going on, Scorpio? Four. Last week, April 2018, baby. All right. Just one overall. That would be fabulous. Thank you. All right. We're going to flip them. Here we go. All right. So just off the top of the head with no clarifiers, we have at the central issue is the lion. So there's going to be some kind of surprise this last week where it's... I'm not getting that it's a bad surprise, but it's a surprise that takes you back a little bit and you might be like, whoa, hey, what? Because over here, someone has on their mind meeting up because you literally have the handshake, which is meeting, and then the bouquet is another sign of meeting, like having a physical visitation. But on top of that, you have the whip. So that means you're visiting somebody for a reason, winky winky. Um... <laughs> someone uh, might be doing some things this week but over here you have the ship which is longing um and also someone's at a distance and it's also physically traveling to see someone and then you have all this visitation junk going on over here but there's the cats so i do want to clarify more on that because the cats is some kind of falseness maybe that's where the surprise comes in because you're like, I didn't know you felt that way. Or, you know, I just, I'm not getting a ton of passion, but it is like, whoa, hey, what? Um, but then you have the lilies up here, which is kind of the divine timing thing where it's, I hate saying divine timing, but it's like Wheel of Fortune style where it's, it things are going to line up the way they need to line up. It's also maturity. This also can be a sex card as well. So that's why I'm kind of like someone might be getting busy this week. Very busy. So we're going to clarify some stuff. Just see if we're on the right track. That's too many. All right. Can we talk about the lion? Okay. So this is the star on top of the lion, which means this is something someone wants. This is the hopes this is something that maybe has been on Scorpio's mind or on someone else's mind. Okay. These came out together. I was about to put them back, but we're going to go with it because it felt really, you know, pertinent to the storyline we're coming up with here. Broken mirror. So the perceptions change and someone's getting recognition. So maybe that is the... I didn't know you felt that way. And maybe this is Scorpio expressing this finally, or this is someone coming at Scorpio and Scorpio's not quite sure what to do with it. I mean, it's, it's not unwanted. It's just, it's like, could you pick your moment? <laughs> Did you read the room, buddy? Um, yeah, so there's the recognition that comes with it, but it involves a, a fair amount of... Um, kind of settling into maybe this new new situation because of the the lion there is that suddenness to it and i think once the maybe the cat thing gets dropped which is the falseness part we're going to find out a little more about that all right yeah so i think maybe this is someone coming at scorpio or maybe they feel the same way and they're just trying to play it cool they're just keeping the lid real tight I want to find out more the rose so it's opening up it's beautiful it's gentle um you know it, it's the beauty card the coffin yeah so the old way is going kaputsky and i think they're they're taking the chance of saying what they want now i'm not getting a communication card so i'm not sure how this is going to be delivered we can maybe find out on the lily how that happens, but the key. Okay. <laughs> it heard me because once you get the key, I usually the card after that is the, is the, the key. 
So, can we talk about the key? Can we find out what is the key after that? All right, so basically, it's luck and being on guard. It's that timing thing. It's it's like a preparedness because when you do have the swords, you have to know what you're doing and you need to be able to, you know, shoo -shoo, you know, like I'm in Inigo Montoya because then you have the line. So I think that's where that preparation thing pops up. So it's going to happen. I mean, I, I view the clover as kind of like a short term lily. It's, um, you know, since this is only weekly, it's like um, the luck and stuff. But the lilies can take a long time. Maturity, like the tree takes a long time. The clover is more of like a short term, like, you know, find a penny, pick it up. <laughs> Real quick this week. Lucky. So, because someone may be getting lucky. I want to go to this lily. <gasps> okay. So, the bride. Someone gets what they want. Some, and I'm not sure someone's going to be blushing, you know what I mean? You have the piggy, which uh, can be ego. So I wanna pull one more just to see if it is the ego side or if you are just, you know, a pig and slop, just in your glory, you know, just rolling around in your mud, just happy as can be. So, you know, um, the only concern though is that can be kind of gluttony as well. So, you know, it's the too much of a good thing. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that. I'm like, too much of a good thing makes me want more. Um, all right, let's see. One more on the piggy, please. Here we go. One more piggy. One more on the piggy, please. The stork. Okay. So, yeah, this is a birth, a change. Someone changes up what they're doing. So I, I'm not getting the gluttony ego thing. It is more of just like a, a real, I want to say like fat and happy. You're just, you're pleased as punch. <laughs> pleased as punch. What is this, the 1940s? So over here though, you have the fox. So there's some level of cunning. Maybe there's a level, a part of you that Scorpio already knows that this is coming and they've just been waiting for it. It's like, wait for it, wait for it. And then when it comes, you're like, who, me? Like, what are you talking about? So, all right, we're doing the fox. More on the fox. It's a woman. Either you are dealing with a woman or Scorpio, you are the woman. Um, and the park, it's coming to light. Stuff's coming out. What are you going to do? Um, so I think that's pretty, you know what? I want one more on this whip and this thing. Because I'm not getting like letters or writer. It's, um, I'm not sure how this is going to be delivered. Maybe we can get more on the tarot, but. Okay, there's the shepherd. Yeah, Scorpio is laying in wait, I'm pretty sure. They're just, you know, they're watching their flock. They're on guard. But in a good way, not in a defensive way. They're receptive. And they may be receptive. But, um, yeah, so Scorpio already knows. So we're going to move on to the Art of Life Tarot. I just pull for general energies for the last week of April for Scorpio. All right, can I get three, four, Scorpio. All right. Guys. Okay. Five of Swords and the Hangman wanted to. Oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Scorpio. All right, one more for just kind of like a general outcome. All right, that wasn't. Oh, I wasn't convinced. Convince me. All right. So, let's see what these other noggins are. Oh, hi. Hello. So we have the star. Hmm. Look at that party thing. There's a little Vincent Van Gogh for you. A little star action. Um, if thou follow follow the thy star, thou canst not fall fail of a glorious heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Someone. 
someone's going to have that. So the Starry Night, it's getting what you want. You know, you had the star up in here as well. So that, that's coming to pass. Then you have Ten of Pentacles, which is uh, kind of the material closing out. You have everything that you need physically, um, you know, and the stability portion of it, you have it. So you're not in a coming from a place of lack. You're, you're feeling pretty solid, pretty solid about yourself. Lovers. So there's Gemini action here. You know, this is Aquarius and Emperor is Aries, but, um, you know, or, you know, Taurus action too. I, I don't know. See, with the, with the pentacles, I get Earth as well, but not as heavily as these since these are major. Um, so then you have the lovers, which, you know, Gemini, but... Whatever is happening here, emotions, love, the heart has reasons that reason cannot know, which is Blaise, Blaise Pascal. Then we have the emperor, which first say to yourself, what would you be? And then do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. So someone's doing something. And then here's Henry VIII. I am, I am. It <laughs> I don't know why this is clicked, but you know, like, um, you had, you had the pig card and look at this dude. He was known for being pretty fat and happy. Also beheading people, but that was totally beside the point. Um, yeah. So there's a, there might be a touch of ego, you know, cause you had the pig here and then the emperor kind of backs it up, but I don't think it's a bad thing. It's more of like, I want to say swagger. Someone's got some swagger. And that's good. Like, like they, they got it, you know, they have it, but the devil. Mm hmm. So yeah, watch that. Watch that swagger. <laughs> watch the swag and the earth. I want one more on the devil. Okay. Well, there's two. Okay. So the moon and six of swords came out together. So I think, you know, in knight of wands, Watch for the one night standy business. I mean, if if you're down, I I ain't knocking it. I ain't knocking who gets what groove where. But if it's not your bag, they may not stick around because then you have the moon and the judgment. Oh no, sorry, six of swords. But I did see judgment want to come out before. Yeah, so six of swords and the moon. So. Like intuitively, you're kind of like, yeah, this isn't going to stick. And you may need to just peace out. I do want some on the lovers just to double, double check. Yeah, so four of wands. So there is a desire to build some stuff with stability. But I think with all this rush of like passion and stuff that's going to happen, it could threaten the stability of it. With the, then the tower came on top of four of wands. So I think you may need to be prepared for, you know, whatever happens here, whatever change happens might not be for the better, but then the six of wands on top of it. So it's kind of like you are tearing down whatever this was. And this whole burst of passion business and this, you know, et cetera, comes rushing in, kind of lays low everything else about it. And then you kind of have to start new. So there might be a retreat period after this because it's, it, it'll be a lot to handle. But, you know, and I think there's going to be a lot of emotions shifting. I, I'm going to get one more on this Knight of Wands because I'm just curious. Ace of Pentacles, okay, and then you're back to the grounded, you know, beginning again. Like you had the 10 back here, so you are at the end. You might have to start over, but then you do get to start over, and you get to have that grounded stuff. So just watch for the teardown period. And like I said, this is only a week, so you don't have to cram it all in. Because you might be cramming it all in. Um, we're moving on to the crystal deck. <laughs> Scorpio, you beasts. Um, here we go. Sexy beasts, I mean to say. So three came out and we're going with it because then 
it's funny because you have the black and two whites. So it's almost like, oh, it's a little more grayish, but you get what I mean. It's like, a, you know, good and evil, huh? Wink, wink. Um, you have sugalite. Sugalite, I'm going with it, is initiating cleansing spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Selenite is connection, clarity, manifestation, and how. And then we have guidance, consciousness, direction with the zeolite. So the zeolite is you need to open oneself to communicating with one's guides. Are you listening? So I think in, in getting swept up in all this stuff, you need to listen to your gut. There's a gut check, gut check time. So if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. You know, if you think this is going to screw something up, don't do it. Uh, the easiest thing to do is just stop. With the selenite, it is a period of clarity and concentration. Stop confusion from clouding your judgment and communicate clearly your intention and purpose. Mm -hmm. So this manifestation, you know, I think it needs to be directed and channeled. Channeled is a better way to put it. Um, because there is such like, you know, this initiating, cleansing, spontaneous, like all that kind of jazz. It'll move quick. So this one is declutter your mind and environment from all that is unnecessary and negative. How can you invite openness and growth into your life? So I think this is a good change time. And um, like I said, just watch for getting swept up. Try and stay grounded. You have your Ten of Pentacles. You might need to restart with the Ace of Pentacles, but you have what you need. So that's good. All right, Scorpio, we'll be talking to you for May. Until then, be well.